Greetings, traveler. Hey guys, what's up? In today's video, we're going to take a look at a game that Epiphany and I played a while ago. This game is worth highlighting, um, not so much because of our spectacular play, but because of the uh, setting of the game. Our opponent appears to be an inexperienced player with a high quality draw and a high quality deck. Now, I don't want to upload this video to ridicule our opponent, nor do I want to incentivize any uh, bullying in the comments, so please refrain from doing so. Uh, that being said, why am, I loading, uh, why am I uploading this game anyways? It's to show you guys that however, however bad the situation might seem, however strong your opponent's draw slash deck might be, if they are not taking full advantage of it, Try not to get frustrated. This is something that I do, or at least did try not to do anymore, is I just say, oh my God, this guy is so bad and he's beating me and he's drawing cards, I get all worked up. It's just not productive, right? So whenever this happens, look at what you can affect. See if you can exploit his inefficiency, see if you can exploit his misplays. Try not to already forfeit the game in your head and proceed to bashing the opponent look at what you can affect. Now, this game is exciting until the end, because there are a lot of moments where the game should have ended, where it did not, because your opponent, uh, once again, is probably an inexperienced player and took a less efficient uh, play. So I want you to enjoy the game, uh, both for its entertainment value and the little educational message that I want to give you guys here that we were all new one day, so Try not to be too harsh to your opponent should they uh, be beating you uh, even with inferior plays. So have a good one, guys. Enjoy the video. If there's a one drop, we can just start just blur it. Yep. <laughs> so it's fine now. The boar at Harive. No. What? Damn it, boar! Good. That's fine. It's not the end of the world. That's kind of the end of the one. Wow. It's fine. Who trades first? It's all good. Basically, the end of the world. Boar coin execute. How did it go downhill so fast? Let me just, let me yeah. just play uh, like a bad two drop on one and a good three drop on two. He essentially just took a coin and used it twice. It was like. Yeah. I'm player one with two coins, come at me, bro. I think Boar Coin execute into uh, Scarlet into four drops. Yeah, yeah we, gotta, we gotta do that, otherwise we're, it's just over. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with Scarlet here? He free kills it, and then you're stuck boring on three. Yeah, he uses the 2-2 two -two and the 3 four, and your players bore and not execute, because, yep. like, yeah. He always trades turrets. Especially with Mistress of Mixture on the board. There's just... Yeah. <laughs> Dude! That's incredible! That's incredible! Yeah. I know, right? It's pretty incredible. Yeah. Alright, we can Scarlet and set up the cleave. It's not the end of the world. Right, we can Scarlet into a 3-5, which can test the free floor openly, and then try to set up a cleave afterwards. Wait, we can... Yeah, yeah, one. I think Scarlet here is still fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Vendor, and then, you know, Venda actually survives the trade. Nice deck, Smork. Is he considering damage from hand, or...? He's like, why can't I play the 7-7 seven, seven thing? Yeah. Shaman is so bad, man. Holy shit. Overload? <laughs> what does that mean? I win. <laughs> sure. He's just really sad about the trade. He's like, ah, <laughs> ah I'm playable. <laughs> All right. Two drop, go. Not quite. Uh, so we play a 2-6 now, right? Yeah, we play Lozen. Yep. And then we got Shattered, Cleave. It's good. Okay. I didn't yeah, you have to target means... something. So if there's two injured guys, it's a bad play. <coughs> sure. I actually didn't realize that was an immune use. It's you like, can always right out of it. It's like DID essentially, but yeah. with more permanent effects. Yeah, DID doesn't really have downside. <laughs> Unless your opponent has sick APM. Insta swing. 
He's regretting his positioning right now. <laughs> yep, yep. It all started with the totem goal, right? Could have uh, mm. placed that on the left of the You buff the 5 1 if you're buffing, dude. There's no need to run the flame tongue in. Get in there and fight, Spike Todd Rider. <laughs> snow. Oh my god. Why did he use the abusive? Why not just use the flame tongue? I don't think he's thinking that much. I wouldn't have his deck either. <laughs> so Hog Rider essentially means he needs to throw the abuser back in, which obviously is good for him. Um, but yeah, I, I guess I mean, if we get an insane good cleave, Shattered destroys him, right? <laughs> mm, yeah. Well, if we get an insane good cleave, he just trades one of the flame tongues into the Shattered and develops. At least we still has an. Oh, that's effect. true. God damn it. Yeah, we yeah. we just got a Hog Rider as guy, I guess. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oof, nasty. Oh, I never played with permanent plus two DID. That seems pretty yeah, nasty. Yeah, that was... <laughs> okay. Alright, I need your time. sim praise for this cleave, guys. And the 7-7 seven seven comes down. <laughs> We're gonna need some sim praise for this cleave! <laughs> Get him, boys! Wow, even has that. Alright, Cleef, let's do it. Yep. Uh, yeah, baby! Didn't take 14. Feels good, man. <laughs> Vendor <laughs> is the most game. awkward shape for him. Yeah. yeah. Whew! We got there. We got there! Missed four damage. Uh, oh, he did, yeah. Yeah, yeah he did. Cool. He didn't attack with the flame tongues before playing the dude. Oh I was like, what God. do we do? Yeah, this is this is truly disgusting. How he's yeah, just... yeah. This guy's really bad, but he's actually, like, his deck is better than Constructed Shaman because he's allowed to run Wild and Zap in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pretty, pretty fucked up. Yeah. Boopity boopity boop. Easy. Roll the healing to them like a boss. A bummer. Cool. We might hit the taunt totem, so bomb her first. Raz, if you ghoul and then bomber, yeah, it's yeah. kind of awkward both ways. Yeah, bomber first is fine. Yeah. I'm a god! <laughs> I'm a god that is disgusting! Holy shit, I'll take it! I'll take it! Kill, kill a flame tongue. Two, two, yep. Oh, <laughs> Bomber's like, where do you want a boss? There? Alright, I got you. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear lord. Fantastic. Yep. Mm. Damn, just deleted everything. <laughs> Holy shit. Alright. Time to go face with the healing totem, my friend. No. Wow, you didn't roll a taunt at him. Feels good, man. Terrible decision making. <laughs> yeah. Hey! Oh, that works. So we go into the flame time, we first make the 1 1. And we make a 5 5, right? With the with the shadowed on the. Report. Probably the alternative is uh, taking down the Yeti, uh, but then you leave mm -hmm. him with the other things. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Kill the totem, assault the totem, make a 5 5. Yeah. Very good, very good. Did you see the Hearthstone TV ad that made Hearthstone look like a gladiator fight? The Mad Bomber looked hilarious in it. I have not, Torjado. I have not. I have to look into that. Oh, I've seen it, yeah. It's much better than the new adverts. Much better. Oh, cool. Is Pippa Pro CSGO Rocket League Sniper? <laughs> This guy is. What the fuck? Oh! How did you duck this good? If we draw like something big now and it's all in the deck, never mind. Easy. <laughs> well, we can blow guild the 4 or 5 and face into 1 1 to save ourselves some damage. Yeah, yeah, I'll throw everything into the Eddie and then see what spare part we get. Oh my god! Like, how does this happen? 
Doesn't matter if you get plus one on the. Yeah. Alright, so face into the one one. And, yep. Uh, and then hero power. Yeah. What the fuck, dude? Yeah. We still have the five biggest cards in our deck. We haven't drawn any of them, so. <laughs> we knew we had to have some pretty sick cards from, you know, positioning and ordering and missing damage yeah. and this and that. For his players, like, his deck was gonna be good. Just look at premium capture, premium card after premium Just throw card. Or something big, and we might be okay. Mm. No. Nice, nice. The creeper comes down. We killed yeah. one one with our face. Yeah, killed one one. It's fine. We might want to buff this. In this right? Yeah, I think we just hero power because otherwise he just kills it with space anyway. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> My God. <sighs> if we drew some heavy stuff, we'd be. <laughs> yeah, the deck should be a good position. All right, we can kill that. It's not too bad. He'll get taunted him now, just because, like, screw you. Ooh. Trade yeah. trade then, but... Yeah, I just leave this with one dude, right? So... Yeah, yeah, this is just as bad, really, as taunt. Uh, Wind Fury. Created by <laughs> no one one that. for you. Oh, he's going fix. Okay. Interesting. Might have to just kill the Wind Fury then. Defense on our top deck. Hey! Sup, buddy? Where have you been? Yeah, we killed the 2 2. So the scale comes down over here, power, and that's always happening. Yeah, we killed the Jade Gone. Right? Yeah, with the healing totem, it just makes no sense to do it any other way. Mm -hmm. I suppose we could have killed the healing totem, but it's a lot of damage. Yeah. That's yeah, fine. He can, like, pop the creeper if he wants to, and then still go into the 2 8. Oh, don't get hex. Don't you dare. There's there's no there's no chance for him not to get a hex here, Pip. Yeah. It's just not how it works. Oh, it's a pretty good mm -hmm. card as well. Oh, uh, he's just... over. Uh, oh, okay. yeah. Of course he get that one! Why? No, not, you... not face. No way. It's like the only way you lose the game. You just like you put the free one in and you put yeah, the Yeah, you have mana tight as well. Tom totem, keep no, okay. And then you like you preserve the free one and you don't take the I don't know. Uh, well, that's a win condition, right? Yeah. Can I know? It's just like, yeah. Just gave that to us. Yeah, exactly, right? Mm -hmm. Holy shit. 9 and 2 now shaman's the scary. The one -one. Well, no, I mean, I don't think that shaman's necessarily that bad of a class, but it's like, this guy's been doing some questionable Shaman. plays. Yeah. But it's fine, we're not gonna, we're not gonna, uh, you know, insult him or anything. It's not. It's not what I want to be doing, but it's yeah, it's just been an interesting game. We'll put it like that. I don't think it's like insulting him to say that his plays are questionable. It's just fact, right? Yeah, but I think that it's very easy to start taking this personal as a player, where you're like, "How can yeah. I be losing to this guy? Oh my god, he's so bad! Look, he, did, he fucked <laughs> it up again." Because you played a two-two into two totem columns. Yeah, yeah, it's just the fact of life, right? But... It's yeah, it's just I feel it's important to always because you always want to like. I find this helpful for me. We'll, we'll, we'll play the Ogre and Hero Power, that's always happening, right? Yeah. We're not dead, I think we hit him. In the so, currently... Yeah, I mean, obviously he could have he could have a plethora of lethals, but... Yeah. Uh, seven. But we go face with six all the time, right? That's not trading. Well, you could kill the Mana Tide to stop the drawing, but I think face for six uh, is correct. It makes him trade, right? Yeah. So, do we get any additional outs by going one face? Um, um, we have two Grime Street informants in the deck, so yes, <laughs> is the answer to that. We should go face. Pum, 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 pum. Yeah, you tie up a shield if you kill a 1-1. One, one. Uh, I guess it's fine, just go face, I don't think it matters too much. Yeah. This this gives us some like specific outs. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, Grime Street informant can find a lot of potential lethals, so. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I guess we, uh, going into the, the... He's screwed up anyway, but we should have gone into the 1-1 totem, I guess. Right? So he's not guaranteed taunt. See if he likes it out. Yep. Cool. For sure. No, anyways, what I was talking about is that it, it, it definitely happens where people uh, like take it way too personal and they forget that on the other end, there's just a beginner sitting there who can't help that he got lucky, right? Yeah, no, I don't take it personally anymore. I used to when I mm -hmm. like was first starting, but now I I do think okay, Feral explains why he didn't go for the taunt, I guess. 
Um, I do think that a lot of players are scared of pointing out how skill based the game is because they don't want to be like, we're not dead. This guy's bad. <laughs> You're right, we're not dead. Cool. And then kill us things. No, no, absolutely, absolutely. You want to, uh, you want to make sure you know <laughs> points where your opponent could make a different move, and you know, you can keep pointing out how, at this point, this game, the game should could be have been over by now, and there, yeah. we actually have a chance of winning. Yeah, like he's still ahead, but it could just be really oh, over by now. <laughs> he's literally one off, right? So mm -hmm. he has to trade. Uh, and he has to double face. trade. Let's go. He has to double trade. We have outs. Look, we're in, we're not in a situation wow. right now where we can have outs. Go. Time. Let's go, boys. Oh, oh, there is justice in this world. Oh dear uh, God. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Damn. There you go. Well, I mean, I guess there's only so many times where you can make the suboptimal line and still win. <laughs> yeah. He took eight damage for no reason. He missed the taunt totem. He yeah, did twice. all kinds of things. Yeah.